in this video, we're going to continue our discussions dealing with applications of exponential and logarithmic functions, this time with radioactive decay. So let's take a look at the mathematical model of radioactive decay based on the formula. A of zero is the initial amount. A is a radioactive substance remaining after T years. And R is the annual rate of decay. So let's take a look at the first example. In a certain woman, the half-life of Prozac is four days. How long does it take for 99% of the original dose to be eliminated from the woman's body? So the first thing we would like to do is we want to calculate what the rate is going to be. So I'm going to put here calculate R. So let's write this out. Okay. So we know the half-life. Okay. Half-life means I've got half gone and half that still remains. So if the original amount is A0, what is left is half of whatever that amount is going to be. Okay. And we do know the time for this. It is four days. So I'll write that as E taken to the 4R power. So I can divide both sides by A0. That divides them out. Because it's E, I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. So on the right-hand side, that's going to be 4R. And I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So now what I will do in this particular case is I'm going to round R to about four six decimal places. So I'll put this and that is going to equal okay. So now that I know the rate, I can actually answer the question now. Again, what's the original question? How long does it take for 99% of the original dose to be eliminated from the body? Okay. So I'm going to go back to this. So now 99% to be eliminated. Well, 100 minus 99 is 1%. Because that's how much is going to be left. So I can rewrite that as 1 over 100 A of 0 equal to A of 0. Now, again, this time I don't know the time. But now, thanks to the first part, I now know what R is. Okay. Now, Two things. Again, I can divide A of 0 from both sides, and I'm going to write 1 one hundredth as a decimal. Take the natural log of both sides. So again, on the right-hand side, that's this. And I can divide both sides by that decimal. And that's going to be about 26 and 6 tenths days. Okay. So I can write, it will take 26 and 6 tenths hours for 99% of the original dose of Prozac to be eliminated from the body. Okay, so let's take a look at one other example then. So we've got 60 grams of magnesium 28 decayed into 7 and 5 tenths grams after 63 hours. What is the half life of magnesium 28? Okay. So again, I'm going to rewrite my formula here. Okay. So again, what do I know? I know what's actually left this time. And I do actually know the original amount. Okay. And we know the time. Again, I want to be able to calculate what the rate is so I can use that piece of information to determine the half-life. Okay. Divide both sides by 60. 
I'm going to take the natural log of both sides and divide by 63. Okay, we'll go to about six decimal places. So that's this. All right. So again, now that I know that information, I'm going to rewrite this again. Okay. So I want to know what the half life for this is going to be. Okay. So. I do know the original, again, is going to be 60, okay? and I know 30 is the half-life. That's what's going to be left. Okay? I also now know what the rate is going to be. Okay? I need to determine the time. Okay? So I can divide both sides by 60. 30 over 60 is one half. That's exactly what you would expect. We are dealing with half-life. Take the natural log of both sides. Divide by that decimal. Okay. And it's awfully close to 21. So well, let's write. So the half-life of magnesium 28 is 21 hours.